One of the most fun transformations is rotating a shape. And rotating a shape has three main elements. It's all about where you rotate it around, what direction you're going in, and how far you rotate. And we'll cover each of those. In this question, we have shape A. It's a nice yellow triangle. Rotate shape A 90 degrees. That's how far we're going to go clockwise that's the direction we're going to go about the origin that's where we're rotating it about label the new triangle b first of all origin where is the origin the origin is the point zero zero right there clockwise is the direction going as the clock turns so like so in a circle round down and back up again you may know all of that, and you may be wanting to know but what's your tip to actually rotate it in the exam with tracing paper. Here's my main tip. Use the corner of the tracing paper. We're going to test that out, but here's the tip. Use the corner of your tracing paper. Many students just draw their shape anywhere on the tracing paper, put a little dot, and then spin it around. But there's a problem with doing that, and that's that you can't quite tell sometimes when you've turned 90 degrees or 180. But if you use the corner, it should work out. Let's see if it does. First of all, uh, in this program, my tracing paper is going to be simply copy and pasting. Can you see the rectangle that I'm now forming here? That is where you can imagine the tracing paper should be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a little red mark in the corner of my tracing paper. If you imagine this rectangle as your tracing paper, what I see is many students put their tracing paper like this. It's anywhere on the shape and then try and spin it around. But if you do it in the corner, things should work a lot better. So here's my little mark. Let's do it in uh, red. Little mark in the corner of my tracing paper. And then if you notice when we spin it we know exactly where to go so here's my tracing paper with my shape drawn on it so you get out your pencil and you draw obviously the shape over the tracing paper then you spin it and now we know exactly when to stop because you keep spinning it you keep spinning it and then boom all the lines match up perfectly if you did your shape anywhere with your tracing paper just anywhere you can't quite tell when the lines match up but if you put the corner of your tracing paper in the point where you're rotating it, then when you rotate it, all the lines match up nice and neatly. And you see we have exactly where our new shape should be down here. And we can tell we've done it right because look, the corner is still at that point zero. Then all we need to do is label that. Many students forget that easy bit of labeling it. But don't lose marks just because you forget to label something B. So there you go, I've labelled it B. If you can quite see there. Now, notice I rotated it 90 degrees. 90 degrees is one quarter. So it's basically you spin it one quarter the way through a whole circle. 180 degrees and it would end up down here somewhere. But 90 degrees is one quarter turn. And again, clockwise is as the clock turns. Let's do one more question just to test out this theory. Let us do a new shape. For example, how about if we had like a rectangle? I'll leave the old one there. A rectangle here. And let's call this shape X. This is shape X. And let's make up a question. The question is going to be, rotate the shape and this time it's not going to be about the origin, so it's going to be a little bit harder. Rotate shape X 180 degrees about the point minus 6, minus 1. There we are. Rotate shape X 180 degrees about the point minus 6, minus 1. You may be wondering, oh, they didn't say clockwise or anti-clockwise. 
The thing is, when it's 180 degrees, both clockwise and anticlockwise, you end up at the same point. So it doesn't matter. So when it's 180 degrees, they won't say clockwise or anticlockwise. But when it's 90, they'll say clockwise or anticlockwise. What's our tip? Our tip was to mark the point on our tracing paper where we're rotating it about. Minus 6, minus 1. That's minus 6 along the corridor and minus 1, so 1 down. So let's mark that there. Then we get out our tracing paper and then we put the corner, notice we put the corner of the tracing paper where we are rotating. We are rotating the first question around the origin. So my corner was in the origin. For the second question, we're rotating about minus 6, minus 1. So the corner of my tracing paper is in minus 6, minus 1. OK, then I get out my pen and pencil, draw the shape, and we're ready to start spinning. So here is our shape. We've drawn it on the tracing paper. Then that's one quarter turn. So this would be one turning it one quarter, but that isn't the whole thing. 180 is all the way around again. So there it is, a full 180 degree turn. And we know we're right because all the lines match up, just as it will do on your tracing paper, and the corner is in the right place. That's why we marked it. So there is our new shape. And we can label that Y. That is how to rotate.